GPT-5 now allows us to create better graphic t-shirt designs than were ever possible before with AI. And I've spent hundreds of hours prompting to create graphic t-shirt designs, and I have never seen anything quite like this. So that's why in this video, we're going to jump right in. I'm going to show you exactly what prompts we're using and how you can adapt it for your own brand. And this is all super exciting because if you're anything like me, it's no news to you that we're able to create designs using AI. The problem is that normally the designs look something like <laughs> like this. This is actually one of my designs where, yes, it loosely resembles something that does check the box of being a t-shirt design, but it obviously misses the mark in several really important areas. Putting aside the fact that the concept is completely flat, the more noteworthy nuances to this is how it has this weird like shading color around it. And dark shading without any kind of negative space being used anywhere in the design and then just these weird like blue flare-ups like this is very consistent with what most of us are used to creating designs using ai and the reason for that is that chat gpt is what's called a horizontal ai meaning that it is designed to be pretty good at a wide variety of topics but not an expert in any one specific field that's where prompting comes in because prompting is where we give the AI specific context about the types of designs in this case that we want to create. The problem with that is when it comes to creating a top selling print on demand design, there are a lot of different variables and it can feel like a lot to fit into a single prompt. That's why we're going to jump right in and see the prompts you can copy paste right into your GPT. And plot twist, I've actually taken all these prompts and distilled them down into a single GPT that is completely free to use. You can just get it by clicking the link down below this video. But first, let's take a look at what it's capable of doing. So this is the WeScale t-shirt designer GPT, where we took all of the variables that we know go into creating a best-selling t-shirt design and translated it into a format that the AI is able to work with. Version one of this, you would type in something like, help me create a design for my brand. And then it would ask you these clarifying questions you would say if you want an evergreen design, what the general topic is, and then who your ideal customer is, and say that you want to make best-selling designs, which is pretty good. It comes up with really detailed design concept ideas and next steps. And then all you have to say is option three. And then it gives a breakdown of the design. And then it immediately starts generating it. And we're going to recap how GPT-5 in particular is doing this. But first, we're going to take a quick look at the next couple of rounds of designs. Because these, honestly, right out of the gate, are not too bad. But I knew that we could get it a little bit more tightened up. I didn't like how it was doing some things like the color gradients. And I wanted the lines to be a little bit sharper on the outputs. So that's where V2 came in. And with V2, we simplified it even further. So now you just simply state what type of design you want, basically your niche, and then you select if you want typography, graphic, or combo. And so in this case, I just said typography. And the beautiful thing about this is that it not only generated a perfect typography design, which I know, typography is pretty simple. Just wait till we see the later designs. But not only did it do that, but it also came up with perfect on-brand phrases for the yoga niche. And then you can ask it to do things like, change the font style to make it a little bit more creative. Then I asked it to make a mountain graphic t-shirt design. And again, all that I said was make mountain graphic t-shirt design. And then I typed in the number two, selecting that I wanted a graphic design. And this is what it outputted. And now the reason that it's able to do this is that it's been specific on all those variables that we looked at earlier, like the spacing, the art styles, the print styles, the concept, the layout, if it matches like with a t-shirt, like the product type match, all of those things are already applied into this GPT. So you can just either prompt how you normally do, or you can just use very simple phrases like mountain. Then I asked it, let's make a flower design. And then I just chose number three. So typography and graphic combo. And these are some of the designs that it came up with. Again, it picked a great phrase and matched it with a very simple flower design that all in all, these both really belong on a t-shirt, which I know sounds like a silly for <laughs> silly thing to say, but it's honestly one of the biggest misses when it comes to AI generated designs is yes, they're visually striking, but it doesn't check the box of something that somebody would want 12 inches beneath their chin for 12 hours out of the day. And so while these designs were great and I was happy with the interactions you could have as a user, I knew that we could do even better. And that's where V3 came in. And that's the version that you're able to get access to by clicking the link down below. Because as I was doing this, I realized, 
well, it might be challenging if I, what if I don't have any ideas? What if I not sure like where, what to even type in? So we added ideas. There we go. And we added some icons. So make it more fun. So you just click ideas or you type it in. And what it does is it automatically goes off to Etsy, goes to Amazon, Reddit. And in this example, I didn't even give it like a niche or anything. So it just came back with what it thought was the best of the best like topics out there. It just with print on demand in general. Now, obviously, if I have a brand or, you know, I have a specific direction I want to go in, you could totally throw in like yoga ideas or history ideas like that sort of thing. But let's keep going because what it came back with was it gave a list of five different and it limits it at five, five different design angles that we could go with. And then just in case I feel like making literally zero decisions, it even picks out the best performer for me. And then it says, just let me know number one through five, what direction you want to go in. So following the <laughs> instructions of our AI overlords, I just decided to go with its recommendation and chose number one. And these were the designs that it outputted. Now, again, all both of these check the boxes of the layout, meaning that it's symmetrical, there's spacing, it uses negative space, and this is a background. It's behind it. So you can see, and if you don't know what negative space is, it's this right here, how I think that's actually the color that the cat's ear would be. But rather than like in the original design that I showed of uh, Easter Island, where every last little pixel was sketched in, you don't want that when it comes to a t-shirt design. So anyway, just one of the small nuances that's been baked into this, along with making sure that they're concepts that actually belong in a shirt and have best-selling potential, that it uses proven art styles and font styles that are not only good for print on demand, but are specifically geared towards the design and the niche that you've chosen. So all in all, these are way better designs than I've ever been capable of creating when it comes to AI generation, normally because the concepts and everything just gets mangled. So this GPT, it's far from perfect. It's just designed to hopefully get the ball rolling for you and be a great starting point for taking the prompts or the ideas and carrying it into any other design tool that you're currently working with. Although these designs, to be quite honest with you, these are designs that I would be perfectly happy putting on my site. I just want to give the caveat that I'm not saying this is like the be all end all, but it can be an awesome tool to help uh, get things rolling for you. So again, you can get free access to this. Just click the link down below, type in your email and we'll send it over to you. And other than that, if you're curious to see more GPTs or maybe you don't have your brand yet, you should watch the other video on our channel where we created a brand completely from scratch in just a couple of prompts using GPT-5. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.